Okay, let me see. Let me pull this up. Because uh, it's usually, I'm guessing, the Urban Dictionary that gives these kooky definitions. That's where I got mine from. Right. One of the unholy trinity of internet pictures, which all must witness to be jaded internet users. Uh, Lemon Party is probably the tamest of the three by just being hardcore old man gay orgy sex. What? <laughs> Old man gay orgy sex. That is and and how horrible. does what does a lemon have to do with the old that? Man go, does it get cruised out? I don't know because because your, maybe your face wrinkle up when you taste something sour or something. I don't maybe, know. maybe that's it. You know what? That's yeah, yeah. Wow, man, easy. How you know that, man? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody on Urban Dictionary said if you go to lemonparty.org, you will witness old man threesome. Old, oh, that's what it is. Old man threesome. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that definitely makes my face scrunch up like a lemon just at the thought of it. Yo, yeah. Easy just says I'm crazy. He said they made reference to this in the Disney movie Cars 2. <laughs> oh, movie. He said, do what? Google what? He said he looked at Cars 2, the Disney movie Cars 2, and they made a Disney, they made a reference to that. What? Oh, they snuck that in on Cars 2. Uh, yo, it's a lot of movies like that that sneaks that stuff in. They crazy. <laughs> oh, my but, goodness. But did you see the other one that came out? Was it Sausage Party or something like that? Sausage Fest? Sausage something that's out right now. Oh, there's, 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 there's a hot dog movie or something that's coming out, like, um, with Seth Rogen in those, yes. it looks like it's a kitty movie, but it's so not going to be a kitty movie. It is not a kitty movie. I mean, I looked and said, yo, they out of control with that. That's crazy. <laughs> 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 oh, Easy said that uh, the old car said they were going to a lemon party. You know what? That's crazy. They were all for that right there. You know they really are. They, they're trying to say that the old car, which is a lemon, but yeah, they, that was a real slick one right there. <laughs> that, that was a real slick one. That's that's absolutely crazy. All right, what what you feeling as far as music now? I know you're you're old head like me. I can tell your roots in the hip hop, and you told me what you liking. But are you feeling anything out now? Um, hmm. <laughs> I can't really say that I have. I must say, even though a lot of people don't like Drake, like to me, he, he comes out with bangers. Though I still I end up bopping to something that he's he's on and at least to me he has some he has rhyme skills so um i don't even remember what his new song is but i, I can roll with that whatever it is uh, that they they play it all the time so, so i know it when i hear it but these other things i don't know I, I can't really get with the songs where they're not really using any words like it's like the whole song is like hey, hey oh, oh. I'm like this, that's not like what are you doing like that's not rhyme but the kids like it. They like beats. They don't really care if they make any sense. None of them really sound like they've been to school. Like they, most of them sound like dropouts. So, hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. They like it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I can't do. <laughs> hey, hey I don't this, know. The, the, the crazy thing is, there's really no inventor of the style. But 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 the, the, the crazy thing is that everybody's mimicking that one person who really didn't. Do anything special, but they all come out to sound the same. What I mean by that is well, okay. Future. Like new, everybody's trying to sound like, or the new ones are trying to sound like Future. Right, that's what I'm saying. They're either trying to sound like Future, who ain't no different from anybody else. I mean, there was other people rapping mm -hmm. with auto tune, but Future somehow everybody's starting to use his style. And then the Migos, the other, the other ones, the Migos yeah. are from out of the way. Really rhyming, it kind of sing song in it or. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Yeah, the whole the whole singing thing. You know what I'm saying? They, I mean, we've been doing that too, but now it's just like that's the real thing to do is you know singing. Yeah, I I still when I hear a new like Ti or you know although I have to admit I don't particularly like the keys that new I got the keys the keys the keys I don't particularly <laughs> like that song, but um I do like Jay Z's verse. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't like the keys. But that's, that's that, the, that's that the future, chorus man. is annoying as hell. It could be because of the future. I don't oh, know. my God. It's too repetitive, man. <laughs> I'm about to go crazy. But, you know, I know P.E. Public Enemy had some annoying sounds in it, too. But I loved it, man. I was like, yes. 
make that teapot mm-hmm. kettle go, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it was, you know. We had the same thing, you know what I'm saying? An annoying sound, but it just wasn't annoying to me then as it is now. For some yeah, reason. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I look at it like this. Everybody is going to have, each each age demographic is going to have what they what they like. And, you know, the kids these days, the the songs they like, they listen to them more for the beats than they do the words. Um, they don't have to make no sense. I mean, the panda dude, he got he got chicks everywhere and he just says panda, 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 panda and they love it. Like that's makes no sense to me. But our parents didn't think that our rap music made any sense either. So, nope. you know, I just let them have them out. My husband, he's the DJ, so he's he's super critical of all the songs now. <laughs> he can't stand them, you know. So it is what it is. I just let them enjoy their fun. Every now and then some of the songs will be kind of entertaining. It's entertaining to me to watch the kids dancing to them, you know. Right. That's true. Yeah, I mean, hey, they do what they do. Uh, we're going to take us one more commercial break and we get back we're going to play name drop I'm just start throwing random words at you and, and have your comment about them <laughs> uh-uh, <laughs> alright so when we get back alright alright let's pause for a break <laughs> Next time you're in the need of video production or editing, give my guys Masterminds Production a call. They're based out of Atlanta, Georgia, and they specialize in short films, concerts, concert, music videos, music videos sporting, videos, sporting events, events, promotional videos, videos commercials, commercials, weddings, wedding, wedding, fashion and photography, fashion photography, photography, photography all at affordable, all affordable rates to accommodate your budget. budget. You can reach them online at www.mastermindtv.net or give them a call 678-420-8400. Nine four Mastermind Production coming straight from the A. Kick it with your boy KC at www.kc.com. This show covers some of the realest issues trending today. He'll keep you locked in from the first listen. You can find him online on his mobile app or at kysii.com, xsquadaffiliates.com, iTunes, Google Play, and especially on the SME Network on Tuesdays at noon. You don't want to miss it. You've kicking it with KC Show. Hey, Vince Wright here. Sports Done Right is my show. Make sure you're listening on Wednesdays on SME. The Sports Gov, Sports Done Right, SME. Three things that go great together. This is Mandelion, ex squad affiliate. Be sure to tune in to Mandelion and the number one cheap rocker, Jersey Burn. Eat, sleep, grind, and repeat show. Cause that's where we do. Every Saturday on Spreaker.com. We don't take orders from super fools. We give them Exco, give it to you. any and all resistance will crumble. Nonsense, there's never been a threat. Nurse squad fully couldn't handle. It is the purpose of the Nurse Squad fully to align our infamous forces against the powers of good and defeat them, leaving us the rulers of the world. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for everybody who's been listening in. We're streaming live over the Stuart Media and Entertainment Network. Thanks for everybody that's been joining in with us and interacting. Uh, <clears throat> so we were actually kicking it over uh, quite a few things. I ain't had a chance to get to y'all's chat, you know, 
so we kind of interacting with you. We chatting with y'all at the same time. But I can't read your chat because I can't get it. I don't have enough time to get it in. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get as much as I can out of Kai. And uh, it's always uh, it's always special when we got our own here. So I'm, I'm trying to make the best of our time here and our time frame. So anyway, thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for joining me here and, and listening to us on KC.com, XSquadAffiliates.com, and also Spreaker.com. And if you want to join in, hit the chat bubbles to uh, interact live with us. And thanks for soliciting our uh, sponsors and listening to the podcast. And shout out to X Squad Affiliates and Stuart Minden Entertainment Network. All right, so I said. When we came back, we're going to do some word association. And I'm just throwing some random words out at you. And I'm going to get your uh, your reaction or your answer to how they feel about you. Or you can just say, I don't even have a comment on that one. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> Thelma from Good Times. Thelma from Good Times. I always wondered how come she still had all the fly clothes, even though they were supposed to be, you know, so broke. Like, I, I, there's no way I was believing she was making them clothes that good. Mm-mm. They ain't even have no place for, for a sewing machine in the good Tom's house. So that was my only thing. But she was Bernadette, what's her name, Bernadette Stanley? She was awesome now. I, I saw some pictures of her. She still was good. Yeah, I saw her too, man. She she looks amazing right now. She is, She. I mean, to be, I think she's at 62 years old. 62 years old. And is she now? Really? Yep. Wow. 62 years yeah, old. Yeah, I thought people had from the Essence Festival or something like a few weeks ago, and she, she's looking great. She looks like um, Vivica Fox. <laughs> it's supposed to look. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was like, oh. I was like, hold on. Man. <laughs> wow, you right about that. I don't know what's going on with Vivica Fox, but she, you know what? Who's worse? Look at him. Ah. Oh. Little Kim, Little Kim. she messed herself up so terribly. I mean, she should have. I mean, she never was bad looking in the first place, but she should have at least stopped around the time when she was doing that. How many licks? Like that, she should have at least stopped then. But it's when she started messing around with her face. Like now, she looks like a porcelain Siamese cat. Like it's <laughs> terrible, and they and they can't fix it. And like I don't even think they can fix it. It's like her. You know, her face is pulled back. Like, she can't really, when she's talking, it looks like her face is Botox, you know, and they can't quite get the makeup right. Like, she just really has gone too far. And then the fact that she was crazy. Did you see that performance on the, um, yes. the tribute they did? I was like, wow, little Kim, I really hope that she was not like that for the bad boy um, tour. Because she was crazy out of breath. Like, she needed to get do some more treadmill activities prior to the show. And then she forgot her own lines. I'm like, where did they do that at? That's true. That's just I absolutely mean, crazy. Rich homie, Rich homie Kwan messed it up even more. It was, that was just like the worst performance ever. I think he so. didn't know the words to the song he was coming out on. She didn't know her words to her own song. And she was tired. Like, really? They, they were they were just embarrassing. That's what I say. To I mean to because you supposed to have that prepared. You supposed to have that that prepared and and make that flawless. And you're doing a tribute. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, but it was to her too. Like I, I mean, that whole set was messed up. Dange Low had to come in there and save the day. <laughs> I was like, this is terrible. Like uh, I need some explanations. If if I bought some tickets to the Bad Boy tour. And little Kim was tired like that and performing, and I would be thirty eight high. Mm, mm, mm. All right, next sweet potato pie. Mm, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody keeps talking about um, Patty Labelle sweet potato pie. I haven't I haven't tried her sweet potato pie yet though. But um, yeah, I love me some sweet potato pie. Yum, diddly yum, just. Yeah. <laughs> All right, LeBron James. Uh, I mean, he's a great player. He's a bit of a crybaby, but he's a great player. And I think, um, in my opinion anyway, too many people are in other people's pockets and where they telling them what they should do and where they should go when they don't have the talent to do it. Like, how you going to tell that man 
what team he should play for and where he should go. And, like, that ain't you. 